And then we do something similar to what was done in the uh, uh, last example, the FTP example. We use a forever loop. And that loops continuously until it's broken out of. And it contains all of this code all the way down to the all the way down to the bottom here. Um, and what we're going to do in that forever loop is uh, clear the screen. You've seen this in the past. Clears the screen. And then it says, here are the current users in the database. Now see in this line there's a little uh, little set of symbols. That's a shortcut, shorthand version of typing the word new line. You can put it right in quotes and it'll, it'll print a new line. So basically we have an extra new line. So we're going to draw a line, use that function that we created. Um, and then we have another for each loop. And what it does, again, it goes through each of the each of the blocks in that users group. And we assign the word user to refer to that you know, each iteration, each time through the, the for each loop. And we print, again, the first name, a space, and the last name. So it's just showing each of the first and last names in the um, users group. We draw another line. Shows all of those usernames, and then we have uh, a couple instructions, and then we ask the uh, the user some information. So it's going to say, type the name of a user. It tells us to type all if you want a complete listing, or just press enter to quit. And then here what we're doing is we're creating a new variable, and that's going to refer to whatever is returned from this ask function. And again, ask. Uh, what it does is on the command line, it asks the user to to enter something, and it returns that information, which can be assigned to the uh, the word answer. Um, and then we take that answer that was given, and we run through a switch uh, a switch structure again with the default, so we can. Uh, respond to things that, that aren't specifically named here. We compare that answer to these things. If the user typed all, then we run the print all function. So again, uh, we asked, we told the user to type all if they wanted to see a complete data listing. That's what happens here. If their answer is all, we print uh, all of those items. If their answer is nothing, if they press the answer key, uh, enter key, then we tell them goodbye and we tell them to press enter to end. And then, once they've done that, we quit. And you see, we didn't use the word print here. We used, again, the function ask. Because what ask does is it waits for the user to do something. And we want to say, wait, press, for, press enter if you want to end. So we say goodbye. When they press enter, we actually quit the program. Okay, so those are the two options that we're checking for. If neither of those options uh, were typed by the user, then we do the default. So here's the default thing. That's this big long bit of code. Um, what happens there is we're going to create a little flag because um, now we're basically checking to see if the the name. We're going to do something based on the name they typed in, the name that we want to search for in that little database of information. Uh, and we start out by saying that not found. We're going to use this flag as we go along to check to see if the name they typed in was found in the database. We start out by saying that's false. And we run through another for each loop, again running through the users block. This, we use the word ref user to refer to each iteration through that block, each block every time we do the for each loop. Um, and we use a find function to check to see if and now in the first iteration, we're using the first block. And the second time through this for each loop, we're using the second block, and so on. And remember, each of those items is a block. So we're checking the username and last name against the answer that the user typed in. So if they typed in, for example, the word John, that's their answer. So if we find in the first name and last name the word John, what we're going to do is this. Draw a line and basically print out all the information for that user. And you could you could for example have the answer it could be John, it could be their last name, or any part of the name, because if that answer is found within the joined 
first name and last name, it will print out the information following uh, or, or uh, relating to that, that found block. And it prints all of the user's information. User, first name and last name, address, street and state, phone number, new line. And we set that flag to be true. If the name was found, then we set this flag variable, variable to be true. And if we go through all that, that whole loop, and, we st and found still is not equal to true, if it never was found, that little uh, greater than less than means not equal to, then if that's not found, then we print that user is not in the database, a new line. Um, <coughs> then uh, we tell the user, uh, press enter to continue. So after all that stuff is done, we tell the user to uh, press enter copy and paste this whole program into, into Rebel. Now, here to copy. Now we'll run the program so you get a feel for how this all works. Okay, so you know, we ran through the loop that printed out just the first names and last names. We gave our little listing, told the user what to do. And let's do that first thing. We'll type in all as our answer. And again, what it does is run through the print all function. You can see it's fairly slow at printing this stuff out because we're using that new line, or, um, the print function to print a line. And it prints out all of the users that are in the, uh, the database. Print the line, print the first name, print the address, and the phone number. Press enter to continue. And basically that goes through the forever loop again. We'll type all again, and it'll do it again. And it just keeps running through this loop. Um, if we type in, for example, John, it'll print us the information that was, uh, that, uh, or it will print the item that contains John using that find function. Remember, this is looping through all of the data. If the, the typed answer is found in that data, it prints all of the data in that, um, in that block in the user, user's database. Uh, we can type J, for example, and it'll print out uh, any of the items in which the J is found. So John, Jim, Jones. Uh, we can type uh, in, for example, Paul. Um, there's a Paul Thompson. There's all, also a Tim Paulson. So it prints those. If we type something that's not contained, it just says that user is not in the database. That's not one of these things that we checked for, and it was never found as it was looping through the databases. So it prints us that default thing. The flag was uh, still false at the end of all that checking. And it tells us the user is not in the database. If we press enter, it quits. It's for us to press enter, and that's it.